All right, hey guys, and welcome to Yomar V HS Edit. This is an edit by me and Squatch Monkey here of Yomar V. Um, this is a server between me, Squatch, Rooster, Theory Deer, which otherwise known as Skywalker Farms, and JCL. Um, we have a couple other guys joining in, kind of here and there. Um, they're not full time by any means, they kind of just join us to play around and mess around so yeah this is UMRV um, as it was somewhat in FS17 but this is kind of our me and Squatch's own take and um, this is DJ Mapping's uh, map I'm sure a lot of you guys have already seen this and we are in roughly early October so we're just getting into harvest um, hopefully I will do a stream sometime this week I don't know when this video is coming out hopefully Monday the and I am just going to show you around the farm. I've still got some stuff to do. There's some in-game, placeable stuff I want to do. i got to get done. And uh, we might take a look around some other farms. I doubt it. Um, I'm going to try and keep this short and sweet. More so a announcement video than it is anything else. And this is my farm here. I, I forget the name of it. Let me run over here and tell you what the name actually is. I will probably change the sign out. But uh, currently called Century Farm. So we are on Century Farm here, which is in the bottom left-hand corner here. Or no, bottom left-hand corner down here. That's JCL's farm. So this is the, I guess, the larger crop farm on this map. And uh, I don't own currently that pig, that pig barn over there. I will eventually own that. But anyway, this is kind of what I've started out with. Not a whole lot. We, uh, we decided to stay, stay somewhat small. Um, I've got a couple larger tractors, decent sized combine, and a couple other things, at least for now. Um, open to upgrade. Not that door. There we go. And Nick, you made that trigger a little hard to get to. Come on now. Alrighty. Struggling with the door. Come on. So we have got a 740 uh, 2012 class Lexion. And we've got a just the best way um, sprayer from OS Farms. I believe these are 90 foot booms. Um, looking to upgrade both of these machines sometime soonish. The combine is probably going to stick around for a little while, but the, the sprayer is going to be on the on the out. I would say probably another. Oh, and my skid steer is gone. I'm going to buy that back. But the best way is going to probably be going here sometime soon. I should have a Kubota wheeled uh, skid steer. Apparently, I think we took that off and then we put it back on. So, I'll buy that back at some point. This is our first tractor on the list. This is my Massey 8280. Um, the tractor I kind of did up. Yeah, I still have some work to do. Um, on 30 inch room, 30 inch spacing, a little bit wide. I, I know some people will point that out. Um, this tractor, at least from all the pictures I found, was running wider than I thought it should be. With inverted rims if you look at it so something different and then a mobility uh least sp spreader that i leased um to do some of my ground for the uh time being in here got my uh new holland 9682 our big horse that's that does all the tillage that tractor will be getting traded off when case arius releases his wheeled version with his tractors, that's kind of the plan. This will go to Squatch at some point, and he'll use it after me. Um, in here, we have got just an 8-row corn head, a 930 class Fario header, so that is not the Draper header. That is a, um, oh, what's it called? Just your standard header. I've got a Ram 3500, a uh, Speedrunner 3755XL, and then just uh, JCL's. I think it's a 20 foot uh, trailer there. Now, if we walk out here, oh, that's the lights. Come on. There we go. The, this farm is using Western Iowa's barns along with TPF's bigger shed and then Western Iowa's bin setup that he uh, kind of did up. Uh, there's some stuff he still wants to do. It likely will never be released. I think Western said he is done with public releases for the time being. And then lastly, we have, if we walk out here, 
we have our larger equipment storage here. Um, we've got just a fruit tender here, a 16 row inner plant, 3600 Kinsey. This is to be traded at some point. I want to go to the uh, 3665 at some point. Um, this will also be traded. This is our Great Plains three section drill. We're going to go to a three section deer, deer cedar at some point. And then I've just got the sunflower rolling basket from uh, OS Farms from his uh, sunflower cultivator and roller pack. And then you've got a Kinsey 8851 done up in the correct Kinsey colors. And then my TG, uh, what is this, 305? Yeah, 305. Kinsey 305. Or not Kenzie, PG305, and then Kenzie. And we've got a just a Salford uh, three-section cultivator here, and a 2700. And last but not least, we have a Western Star 4900 with a 42-foot Tempty. That's really all I have currently. I didn't, didn't see the need to do anything with hay. Um, we are mostly a grain farm. I will be going to a... A pig operation at some point that will be here in the near future I hope um, watch made the farmland that that pig barn sits on like seven hundred thousand dollars so I got a little ways to go I got I got a long ways to go I think um, but yeah other than that I've got a couple things I want to do to this yard and then we will be getting into uh, harvesting here hopefully in a stream I think Watch wanted to do Sunday streams, I think is what he was saying, and I was going to be doing sometime during the week, was the idea. We will see about that, I'm not too sure. And I suppose, other than that, I will let you guys go. I may tack on... Well, I may tack on me doing up this yard a little bit. There's some things I want to decorate on this yard, kind of do it up a little bit differently. I, uh, I never got around to getting to redecorate this yard. I uh, really just placed buildings down and called it, called it good. So I will decorate this yard and we will we will have a time lapse here. And then um, I may save the other guys' farms for a different video, but I may also include it here. So we'll see. I will see you guys next time. Alright guys, I thought I would hop over and check out JCL's farm here first. He's actually online currently. Um, this is at the probably the most known farm on this map. This is, I believe, Circle S Farms. This is the original farm that everyone kind of spawned on in 17. Um, I went through and I did a couple things. I tried to put it back to where it was in 17. Um, put the, the sign back up and a couple other things. Your sales kind of gone green this time. I don't know what what's wrong with him, but I think he's got a fever. But anyway, um, he's got a couple things. He's got a chopper. I think you guys saw that. Got a uh, 4440. Looks like an 06 series. And then if I remember right, he he bought a deer combine. Crazy enough as that is. Yeah, he's got like a 9400. I think. What is that? 94, 9410. Yeah, 4450. Along with, uh, I believe that's a 25 footer. Got a toolbox there. That's that's our shop trigger there for some of the placeables. And then he's got two looks like smaller Parker wagons currently bought. He's placed down a Meridian bin there. I wonder if he has sold the other bins that are over. That yeah, looks like he has sold the bin. Oh, he kept one bin that was over there. Okay. So he he's placed down a couple of his own bins from the looks of it. And place down his own harvest store as well. So it seems like he's getting all the silage. He has a little like beef operation here, so 
Interesting to see. 706, yeah. That's nice. So I will see you guys again at the next farm. And it looks like he has just a lizard pickup, I guess. Yep, I will see you guys at the next one. guys i uh, thought i would stop in at rooster's farm next this is i believe called valley bluff farms and this is kind of a medium sized operation maybe a little bit smaller i think is what rooster is going for got a couple bins over there looks like a parker 4000 model a it, his yard is kind of in disarray um i'm not going to question it but uh baylor there <laughs> 86 series, uh, 4050, bunch of John Deere, a couple Parkers, 500 series, grain cart there. This is a 4555 and a 4500 with a 25 foot head. A lot of guys have gone with maximizers. I'm the one, the one oddball on here with Alexion. I went bigger, and I feel bad for it to be honest here, guys, but. Yeah, I, I went bigger than most of them. They're kind of staying small. I'm trying to kind of trying to grow. Um, I do a lot of the contracting on the server. I work with Squatch a lot. He runs the dairy, which is where we're headed next. Um, hop back on in the truck. Uh, didn't really pay much attention here at Roosters. Roosters is a chaotic mess. The, it's a farm I didn't spend a whole lot of time on. I put a couple sheds in and kind of left it the way it was. We'll hop back over to... Well, I guess we'll hop across over to the dairy, which is the dairy. Uh, can't really see, but it's over in that direction. So I'll see you guys in a second. So I am going to go ahead and pause here. There is another farm to our right there that is unoccupied at the moment. Um, if someone else wants to join us in the group here, that, that farm is left open for them to kind of play on. So just want to let everyone know there is one open farm on the map that we're kind of waiting to see who wants to fill that in the group. Other than that, every farm is filled other than the Wisconsin farm, which isn't really a farm to me. I, people can play on it, but I never... In any version of this game, I've never played on the Wisconsin side, so. Yep, I just wanted to go ahead and say that. I am going to cut back to being over at Squatches. All right, and second to last here, guys, we have, I believe this is called Stanley Dairy, if I remember right, yeah. So this is Squatch's place up here. He is running the dairy, which is proving to kind of be a joint venture between me and him. More and more it goes on. But anyway, I'm kind of just contracting for him and running it in his stead whenever he's not around, I guess. But we're all kind of helping him with this one. So we had Western Iowa, much to his chagrin, make up a couple things. So these are Western Iowa's hay barns, which are not going to be released, but I just want to show these off. So those are Westerns, along with um, his 
I guess Redux of for Random Sparks' Commodity Barn from FS17. We had uh, ran, or had Western do up this building. I uh, kind of begged and pleaded for it, so he begrudgingly kind of did it. And then all Squatch has here is his mixer tractor, his mixer. New Holland's good steer there. Um, we just got finished with uh, silage, so there is roughly, I believe, 2 million liters of silage in this bunker over here. Uh, so, well piled. We, we pretty much filled it. That is all from that field over there that Squatch is liming. I can see his lime tractor over there, so. He's doing that currently, one of his boxes here. He's got, I think, roughly 100 cattle currently. So he's not very big at the moment, but he's looking to expand. He's got Jono's pump and Jono's tank from the looks of it. A mower, baler, a bunch of other implements. I, I won't go over everything that the other guys have. I'll just kind of show it real quick and we'll be off. I don't want this video to be another 40 minute video. Um, he's got a nice box car, another wagon there. Got a truck. Yep. X. And I think Chase Sale was renting his chopper from what I, what I gather. Because that chopper's running the uh, the 40 inch extension that uh, Skywalker Farms did up for it. So I assume that is who he has rented it from. And then we've got his sprayer and his planter. That's roughly all that is on this farm. And I left the truck. Did I leave the truck all the way up there? Where did I leave the truck at? Uh, oh, there it is. Yep, so. Stanley Dairy. Um, much the same as it was. It's a little different. Um, I think it's just a little bit more of a layout than me and Squatch liked. And that's kind of what we went with. So. Uh, yeah, I will let you guys uh, I'll catch up with you guys here in just just a moment. We're going to hop over to Dairy's. And, uh, yeah. Actually, I don't think we'll... For the last one, I don't think we'll, uh, we'll jump. I'm going to go ahead and maybe... A little bit more talking here. So, as far as schedule goes for this, I don't know. Um, multiplayer videos will come out at some point, along with live streams. We're all just kind of trying to get into the swing of things. We're all a little busy, unfortunately. Me and Squatch spent much of the day today uh, getting his silage out. I didn't record anything of that. Me and him were kind of trying to fly through it. We've been trying to get into October and November. And now that we're here, we're uh, we're gonna settle down a little bit. I think I'm gonna stream some. Watch is gonna stream some. And uh, we're just gonna enjoy it. As far as anything else on the map goes, it's to be determined. Release date then is definitely certain to be determined. We don't even know if we're gonna release it. Watch has Squatch and I have talked about it. Um, I think most of the guys who helped on the map said they would be interested in doing so. But that would be under DJ's permission, and that would be not be for quite a while. There's a lot of stuff we want to do. And a lot of stuff that needs to be done before this map is quite ready to ever be released. Um, I'd give it a good, at least half a year, if not longer. Because we want to take some time, and we want to we wanna play. We want to just enjoy it. So, just want to give you guys that heads up. So you know, don't, don't expect anything anytime soon. And... Oh, there's a plane, and, well, welcome to our last farm, which I believe is... Oh, it's beef something. I forget what this farm is. Black, Ang Black Acres. Black Acres Farm. Okay. He's got, got his little Model A positioned here right at the front. Looks like we've got another 3500 in red, along with a 20-foot trailer. White with two Parkers. Um, the smaller three-point... Um, Sprayer here. Just an 8-row. Wow, Derry, you are going small, my friend. Wow. Uh, chisel. Uh, what is that? A 3-box. Great Plains. A smaller Wilmar spreader. 30-foot deer head. Yep. The Derry went a little bit bigger than the rest of them, but it's still not quite as big as me. At that door. And here is a shop I kind of did up. Put that on. And let's see, we've got a fuel trailer, we've got a 9610, so, yep, definitely the second biggest combine on the server. 8950, 500 deer grain cart. That is a 4850, ooh, yes, 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 yes. 
I do love a 4850. Um, Kenworth truck with a smaller mower. Uh, I believe these are 28 footer trailers. And that's really all Derry seems to have purchased so far. I mean, he's got a nice green setup along with some green bins down the way. And just to show off this nice shop that I made up, here's the office as well. Yeah. Turned out nice. I'm pretty happy with it. This is originally, I think, Lancey's shop from Stone Valley. Is where this came from, if anyone was interested. Oh, come on. There we go. Hop back out here. And so, yeah. That is really all of it. Um, there's still much to see. I did some work at the ethanol plant. I think Squatch did some stuff in the town. And there's other stuff. Um, the I did up the church. I think I've showed a couple screenshots of that. And yeah, so there, there's been some changes to this map. Um, nothing major. But most of the farms have been touched in some way. And uh, I look forward to making YouTube content. I have been gone for two months, guys. Someone will have to remind me in the, in the description. I think I haven't live streamed in, two, in a month and a half. Video hasn't been posted for two months. So I apologize for that. It's been a little chaotic for me. I hope to get back to a regular schedule. But life is kind of getting in the way, so we'll see. I look forward to hopefully a stream sometime this week. I want to do that for sure. Get the guys together and have a nice big stream. And other than that, I will let you guys go. Thanks for watching. Hopefully this video is below 30 minutes. Please. I, I really I want to keep things short. Keep them sweet. I will see you guys later.